Hi, I'm Joe Feather, uh, the head professional here at Leeds Golf Centre. Uh, I got started in golf um, kind of by accident, really. I mean, my dad had played a little bit as a kid and he had some old clubs in the garage. He'd always wanted me to play rugby, but I was a bit of a uh, scrawny kid, so I wasn't too keen on that idea. So we went up to the sports field and hit a few, uh, hit a few balls away at uh, Scott Hall Sports Field in Leeds. Uh, and then my uncle had cottoned onto that and he bought me and my dad a voucher to play a round of golf when I was about 10 years old. So my first real experience of golf was 18 holes, which was brutal. I was uh, shot about 150, I think. Um, but for some unknown reason, I just got addicted and kind of went from there, really. My coaching career really came about um, as, as a bit of a plan B, I guess. I was, uh, I was competing on tour, um, various tours kind of around the world, and um, recurring injuries really less, le um, led to a bit of a loss of form, and I was kind of behind where I wanted to be at a certain age, and sort of thought um, maybe coaching's the way to go. And uh, I'd already done my PGA course, and um, I got offered a coaching role and, and kind of took to it like a duck to water really. It's been um, five years now, just five and a half years since, uh, since making that decision and uh, it's been brilliant. Uh, my passions as a, as a coach are kind of widespread, I guess I'd say. If I was to give you a top three, I think one of them is getting people playing golf. Um, you know, sharing my passion with people who've not played the sport before is uh, it's huge. Um, Getting juniors, you know, uh, the, the development of juniors and helping the kids either get to elite level if they want to or just to have a, a, a thorough enjoyment of the game generally is a big one for me. And then my final one would be really working with elite players and, and um, working with them on all aspects of the game to uh, develop that and uh, try and fulfil the potential, I guess. My typical day, um, fairly long, I would say. So, um, I'll get to work usually about an hour and a half before I start coaching, um, answer any emails and occasionally have a bacon sandwich um, and uh, just catch some any admin, maybe some little bits of repairs before I start coaching. It's usually about 10 o'clock, um, do three, three and a half hours coaching, then I'll have a break from lunch, a little bit more admin time and um, maybe a few more repairs and then get coaching again, usually about three o'clock and then coach through to around seven, eight-ish. Um, usually a little bit of junior group stuff on an evening. Um, so yeah, lots of teaching, lots of lots of everything really, but yeah, it's great. Funniest experience as a coach. I mean, there's so many. I mean, you. I think to be, um, that as you grow as a golf coach, you see, you see a lot of howlers, um, people hitting terrible shots, even people that you wouldn't expect hitting awful golf shots and uh, I think if you if you uh, if you don't learn to laugh at yourself a little bit as a golfer and you know even as a golf coach, I think it's um, it's uh, yeah it can be a tough game to take some time. Number one though, I would say um, it was a <laughs> it was an on course playing lesson. Uh, the the client will go unnamed, and uh, we've got a uh, we've got a pond that is just in front of our 18th green. But in the playing lesson, we were teeing off the. Uh, <laughs> off the first tee, which is uh, a good 30, 40 yards to the right of that. And um, this player can play as well. I think they're from mid-teens handicap. And they managed to uh, to hit the ball with the driver straight through their legs. And it bundled off down the hill and rolled into the pond, which is it is a full 90 degree shot straight through the legs and into the pond. And, uh, and luckily they saw the funny side as well. And um, it was about another five minutes before we managed to hit a shot because we were both laughing so hard.